Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, welcome and welcome back, KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently down 1.74% to 43,421. Ethereum down 2.09% to 3083. Our community's mission is to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. To help facilitate this, I apply my 30 years plus in financial markets to explain the smart money institutional mindset so you can break out of retail thinking. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. If you're going through a life pullback at the moment, please know that our community's love and healing thoughts are with you. You're not alone. The sun will come out again, and there is always hope. Please be aware too that the official email for me is kstandf at gmail.com. Rule 138, all investors become traders every time they buy or sell. I created KS Zone Analysis to show the four stages that every single investor and trader progresses through to become consistently profitable and attain real wealth. When people join the crypto market, they enter Zone 1, the panic zone, and Zone 2, after a little bit of time, the blame zone. Unfortunately, these are certainty zones. There is no certainty inside the crypto market, even though a lot of influencers say there is absolute certainty. Please don't believe them. There is no certainty inside crypto. In Zone 3, the Patience and Rule Zone, we understand that there's no certainty, but there is volatility, and we make volatility our best friend. We look at probability, and we assess where price action is going through the CTKS method, which is the largest upgrade to candlestick pattern analysis in over 300 years. We apply probabilistic fearlessness. We have the knowledge and we can forgive ourselves for not getting in at the bottom or selling at the top because we know there's no certainty. We know that there is no perfect timing. We cannot capture everything and we are not addicted to indicators. Those are the behaviors of zone one and zone two. Zone one and zone two are the loss zones. Zone three is how to make money. Zone four is how to keep money and have a beautiful life in the process. Zone four teaches us the difference between riches which are passing and wealth that is intergenerational by nature. In zones one and zones two, people just want to pick up the price gun and just fire all over the place. They basically say, fire, ready, aim, and they tend to lose a lot of money. If they were doing a bow and arrow and going for the particular bullseye, the arrows would be all over the place. Sometimes they're nowhere near the bullseye at all. It takes a lot of knowledge to understand how the crypto market works. People are attracted to the crypto market because of the very, very high levels of return. But also, please note that volatility does mean that you can do really, really well, but it, there's very, very high risk. Cryptocurrencies are very speculative. They have a high degree of risk. This is from Wells Fargo, a particular report that they put out. But I want to share this because I think that there's too many influencers out there saying crypto is a sure thing and you don't have to risk anything. You can get 100% profit with 0% loss. That is not true. You must have knowledge. One particular knowledge gem is rule four. In zone three and zone four, we do everything according to rules. These are the rules of the crypto market. When you play by the rules, you can win at the game. But if you don't know the rules, you'll most certainly lose, especially inside the crypto market. Rule four, price moves in waves. There's also a large difference between retail thinking and institutional thinking. Institutions, smart money, ride these waves. They are predominantly safe from the waves because normally they create them. Retail investors tend to get wiped out by these waves. 
When people enter the crypto market, they think the price is just some independent thing that is created. It's created by group or crowd psychology. That's why so many fear and greed indices exist all around the world inside every market. Crypto has its own fear and greed index. When we have very, very high amounts of fear, that is the time for people to buy. Unfortunately, when it comes to retail thinking, there's so much misinformation and so much amateur thinking out there from a retail perspective that people generally sell at the bottom and buy at the top. It's really heartbreaking to see. That's why I share the institutional smart money mindset with you. I don't want you to get wiped out. I want you to be able to ride the waves really, really effectively. Another incredibly important rule is rule 45. No alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. Bitcoin literally is the gravitational pull inside the crypto universe. Your beloved alts will be moved by Bitcoin's directional movement. Having a look at the crypto market right now, what do you see? I'll tell you what I see. I see Bitcoin's gravity pulling the entire market down. Sometimes people look at their beloved alts and they say, I can't understand what's happening here. Why is my alt going down? For example, why is Solana or Matic or Atom or Near or Dot or Luna, AVAX, why is it going down? What happened to those cryptos? Bitcoin happened to those cryptos. Previously said, Rule 138, all investors become traders every time they buy or sell. This is a really important rule to understand. It doesn't matter if you're an investor or a trader. There are right times and wrong times to be inside the market. And there's right times to add and wrong times to add. You can't possibly know the right or the wrong time to add unless you can actually draw support and resistance lines. They are incredibly important to understand. In episode 425, I put out a video on the hidden dangers of candlestick charting in crypto. This is a really, really important video to look at. It will give you an insight into how to place support and resistance lines. You can literally think a support and resistance lines are like fences in a paddock. And maybe there are sheep inside that paddock. What actually happens when you have a resistance line? That just simply means that there's a fence that's pinning price underneath it. We can see that right at the moment. I'll just zoom in here so you get a better look. As a community, we developed a little example of how to understand support and resistance better. We call him Percy, the magnetized price sheep. What? Magnetized price sheep? What is that? This is our little Percy. He's got his cap on. Make crypto great again, Percy. And he's got his bit of bling on and resistance and support. What actually this means is that Percy price is all about pinging between support and resistance levels. Let's just shrink him down a bit and go on a bit of a journey as to what this means. What do we see here? This is really interesting. You could say, Percy, Percy Price was trying to get above this level, but the fence was locking Percy in. There was another overhead resistance, so Percy was trapped below that at 41.933. Currently, Bitcoin is trading at 43.477. Percy had to get a lot of strength to push through this particular fence. He did so. He got up above, but ran into the next fence slash resistance. The resistance pushed him down to the other fence. You can see how these fences are really, really important. When Percy hits a particular fence, in this case support, and bounces up, he needs a lot of momentum to crash through these heavier barricaded fences. And there's a, quite a few of them there. One, two, three. Percy needs to blast through it to get up into this fresh paddock. Not easy to do because there will be a lot of sellers there trying to push the price down. I drew a line in the sand, 44,402. And I said, when price gets above that, we'll be starting to look pretty good. We were almost there, but what happened? 
Percy was magnetized back underneath to the very, very strong magnetic pull of this particular fence. Because it's so strong, it pulled Percy back. But Percy's doing his best to get out. And you can see that 44, 402 level getting hit again and again and again. So what do we see here? This 44, 402 is becoming really major, like the 41, 933 level. If we do not know how to draw support and resistance levels, we don't know where price is going to go. For example, if we're looking at price like this, where are things going? How do we know what's going on here? What is the, what is the direction of this? How do we know what is where? It's incredibly difficult to know unless you know the foundations of drawing support and resistance in. When we actually draw support and resistance in, everything changes around. You have a guideline. You know what is going on inside the market. It actually takes a lot of time to know how to draw those lines properly. In fact, you need to go through about 35 lessons to do it. You may say, wow, Ken, that's too long. I just want to draw a line anywhere. Something that looks like price is obeying it. If you do that, you are guaranteed to lose money sooner or later. This is an excerpt out of the foundation section of the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. People who are in the masterclass, please just go lesson by lesson by lesson. It's like steps. Every step leads to the next step. Please don't jump steps. You'll put holes in your knowledge. You don't want to do that. The very beautiful thing is that Percy was only born a couple of days ago, and he's since become a bit of a smash. And that is really beautiful. I think that anything that helps to explain things more clearly is a really, really good idea. When you can bring a chart to life and make it really fun, then you're learning. And what is all of that about? When you actually get into the market, you don't want to be memorizing things. You must understand what you're doing. If you don't, you won't be able to correctly relate to what is actually going on. You'll try to apply things instead of understanding. Understanding is always the key. What does it mean for Percy at the moment? We can see we have some guide rails here. We have a little bit of overhead resistance at that 43,807 mark, but we have a very strong magnetized fence. It's no wonder that Percy was pulled back to it. He, after all, is a magnetized price sheep. That's why you understand price is magnetized towards resistance lines and support lines. Very, very important concept. Percy is also a bit torn. He's got two really, really good friends. One, FUD, FUD sheep, and one, FOMO sheep. FUD sheep always wants Percy to come down and visit him. He's a very negative sheep, but he's a good friend. And FOMO is all about the fear of missing out. He's up there just hanging around the 49305 mark. He wants Percy to jump up here and visit him. There is always a tug of war going on between Percy's friends, trying to get Percy to come either way up to visit higher levels of price or down to visit lower levels of price. But you know Percy is always magnetized. As soon as you know what these lines are in the market, it is a game changer. We know the crypto is incredibly volatile. So let's move his positive friend, FOMO, down a little bit. The two things that we want to keep our eye on, the two levels, are 45881 and 41933. These are really important levels to understand. What is the probability? That depends on what is happening in the greater market. We cannot just look at this particular chart and make all our conclusions. A lot of people do that, and that's why they lose a lot of money. A lot of people don't realize how tiny cryptocurrency is as a market. It's just a fraction of the stock market and the bond market, and it's a fraction of gold. It's really important to understand that cryptos are impacted by the gravity of the stock market and the bond market. Crypto technical analysis is a professional discipline. 
we go very very slowly to line up our shots we don't rush things we've got a lot of patience in the trend section we check stock markets that's rule 193 192 is that we check world events and a key rule is rule 395 to collect probabilities you can see in the trend section of the crypto trading ks masterclass there are 39 lessons that do deep dives on all of these things why do we need to check the stock market and the bond market why can't we just focus on crypto after all that's all we're interested in after three decades inside financial markets if you don't gain the context of the greater markets for example the stock market was around 95 trillion in november of 2020 the bond market was 128 trillion dollars as of august 2020 these are very very big markets and more and more money is going to flow from bonds and stocks into crypto it also goes in the reverse crypto as you know is highly speculative the stock market much less speculative but still speculative and the bond market like watching grass grow it's supposed to be the safest market in the world masterclass students when you get to tm6 you will get a copy of this live chart we always look at what the u.s market is doing because the u.s market accounts for basically 56 dollars out of every hundred dollars that is spent in stock markets globally what do we see with the vix the fear index the fear index has come down very significantly what does that mean to price it's exactly the same as the crypto market we can see price has been rallying it struck a level of resistance if we think of percy the magnetized price sheep what we're seeing is a level of resistance and we can see a bit of resistance occurring through here but a passing of one level of resistance too masterclass students use the ec method to see that we can see oil oil is starting to wave down but price is always moving in a wave always keep that in mind we can see bond prices just collapsing at the moment and we can see bond yields increasing the price of gold is increasing after this very significant sell-off and we can see the US dollar currency index the DXY or the Dixie got caught by that magnetic fence Percy got caught on that support level that's why a lot of people when they say this price is going to zero they are very sensationalistic and they really don't know anything about technical analysis gold is used to assess geopolitical tension there is a degree of geopolitical tension at the moment russia and ukraine will go into that in a little bit more depth but the most important thing is that we see that the stock market itself is looking reasonably healthy a lot of people thought that the stock market would just plummet towards zero again retail thinking institutions view things very very differently masterclass students when you reach tr23 you'll get this particular live chart we can see gold has been increasing in value silver is also starting to increase the inverse dxy gives us a bit of indication as to what way the precious metals may go and bitcoin is starting to get over resistance when it gets over resistance what do we know it's in a fresh paddock it can roam around a bit we always have to keep our eye on anything that can actually impact the world and c19 cases are definitely growing 401.17 million around the world we can see that the new daily cases are starting to decrease but this should be borne in mind that they are a lot of daily cases in fact millions let's have a look yesterday 2.611 million new cases masterclass students you will get this live chart in tm3 what we see here is bitcoin compared to the index and transportation indexes when there are recessions transport takes a dive and it keeps on going this is really important to understand and there is a lot of financial theories wrapped up in that 
That's why we actually pay attention to the transportation indexes. We can see airlines, this white line through here. This is getting really, really close to breaking out from underneath resistance. This could be a fantastic new thing and could actually signify that the airlines could enjoy upward price momentum. Bitcoin, we know. The other typical transportation indexes, they're all bouncing and they all follow the directional movement of the major stock market indexes. When they go out of alignment, that is sometimes a reason to worry. What we're doing right now is obeying rule 395, collect probabilities. We're looking through the market, through global events and stacking or collecting probabilities. When we look at Bitcoin compared to inflation expectations and masterclass students, you'll get this live chart in TM4. We can see Bitcoin starting to edge up as well. When we look at the 10 year and five year break even inflation rate, we can see that five year break even inflation rate is being supported upwards. Not so much the 10 year. This would tend to point to the fact that we could have five years of inflation rather than 10. I know I'm being really simplistic with that, but the concept is the long term outlook for inflation is of a lesser pressure than short term. Evergrande and the Great Wall of Chinese debt is something that we need to look at. Basically, these seven different companies have net debt in excess of one trillion dollars. And what do we see with these companies? They're all starting to bounce upward. This is a restoration of confidence. This is really important to see. If they were all collapsing down, this could be a negative price momentum piece of news for Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin goes down, crypto goes down. It's not hard to see just how influential Bitcoin is. Remember that Bitcoin goes down, crypto goes down. Bitcoin comes up, crypto comes up. When it comes to the Russian crisis that's actually happening at the moment, We've seen that more posturing on Russia's part to take over or invade Ukraine tends to push the Russian market down. We're getting a degree of turnaround here. This is a really positive sign. This is like the market, the institution saying, OK, I think things might be improving here, but we just have to stack probabilities. Masterclass students, you will receive this live chart in LV8. What does this basically say about Bitcoin? Because that is our only focus. We go through all the foundations of marking up the chart and then we go through the trend section because we need to know what is actually going on in the greater world around us. The more we know, the more we are prepared because we know crypto is so incredibly volatile. When we stack and collect the probabilities, we don't see a lot of problems in the market because we look directly at the numbers. We don't listen to the media. Listening to the media, you would hide under your bed and never come out. That's why it's so important to just analyze price action wherever we can. We know that Percy, the magnetized price sheep, is probably going to make its way. Percy will make his way up here in all probability. But there's nothing stopping Percy coming down and just wandering around this particular magnetized price level. Percy may even get a technical violation, which is a push under this strong degree of support could turn to resistance. We must always make three probabilistic choices. Professional investors and traders are not like retail investors and traders. They know what they're doing if price goes down, goes up or goes sideways. This is in stark distinction to level one, zone one and zone two investors and traders. They typically only have one thesis. It is has to go up. If it doesn't go up, they can't sleep at night or it needs to go down. And if it doesn't go down, they can't sleep at night either. These are really problematic things. And we overcome that by zone three and zone four thinking, which is that we always make in advance probabilistic choices. Crypto technical analysts then look into the timing of the market. They want to use rule 32 to find the market's focus 
they know Rule 28, Opportunities Reset Daily, and Rule 109. They're always enhancing their pattern recognition. They're looking for opportunities. Here is literally the aim component. So for example, we're just literally looking at how to aim right now. When we look across a market like this, how do we know where to aim? What typically happens, zone one and zone two, investors and traders will go into the green areas and they'll buy the green. Actually, we should be buying the red. This is largely because price is always moving in a wave and you want to lower your average buy price. What we see here in the first eight cryptos, the first one we always look at as Bitcoin, we can see Bitcoin getting above a level of resistance and turning it to support. This is really, really natural price action. A lot of investors and traders think that once the positive impulse move upwards is over, it's all over. They've missed it. Not true. We can see price is always moving in a wave. That's potentially one of the most valuable rules that you'll ever learn. Ethereum. We can see Ethereum getting towards a level of support. Its next target is 3480. Looking at Binance Coin, what do we see here? Binance Coin was rejected by that overhead resistance. It's moving down. And what is it going to do? Is it going to head towards zero? <laughs> no way, because there's so much support through this particular zone. If anything, Binance Coin is finding a higher low and creating an uptrend. This is very important to understand how price movement actually is well, reveals itself inside the market. What about Solana? It's just consolidating around the once resistance turned into support line. What about ADA? ADA is making its way up. It's moving in a wave. And we always know this, price moves in a wave. XRP has been doing really well. It's spiked up. It's just retracing at the moment. You'll see the Bitcoin's fingerprint, this blue line, that's Bitcoin's gravity. It just unfolds on every single alt in terms of directional bias. What about DOT? DOT is following Bitcoin's fingerprint. Looking a little bit, bit weak here, but it's just over resistance. And we can see Luna over resistance and consolidating as well. When people first get into crypto, all they want to know, when do I buy? When do I sell? Unfortunately, Experts do not know your needs. They don't know how much money you have or how important it is, or if it's to pay the rent or the mortgage or the food. They don't know these things. Be very aware of the fact that when you actually put down money, only you know how important that money is to you. If you find that people are saying that you can get a guaranteed percentage return, please know that this is not possible in crypto. In crypto, things move around so wildly. What actually happens is that the greatest battle that you'll ever have is with your emotional state. Crypto technical analysts have mastery over their emotional control because you cannot be a professional without emotional control. That's rule 734. Rule 733, professionals are not emotional. This is really important to understand that in the real wealth section, there are so many foundational concepts on the difference between riches and wealth. And you might say, Ken, I don't really care about any of that. I just want to make money from crypto. It's really unfortunate that as a society, we are rarely taught the rules of money and especially the rules of wealth. Wealth can be intergenerational. Riches are just like a match lighting. They can burn and burn out very quickly. After 30 years in financial markets, one thing that you actually learn is mastering fear to succeed is incredibly important and profits require patience. But it's actually a complete re-engineering of your relationship towards money that is actually required. A lot of people have a very negative relationship towards money. If you do have that, you'll find it really hard to maintain your profits because you'll fall subject to self-sabotage and self-doubt. 
I can't stress enough, real wealth is the absolute foundation of all success in life. When we maintain a positive excellence life trend through integrity, decency, kindness, gratitude and happiness, this creates balance and inner and outer peace. It facilitates empathy and love. It actually strengthens courage, honor and fearlessness and creates fulfillment and meaning in life. Many, many rich people in zone three actually don't ever make it to zone four. And that is the greatest cost for any human life. Living with a lot of wealth or a lot of riches, but not wealth is a very empty experience and literally another form of poverty. But it takes many, many decades to understand these things. Before entering the trigger section, literally the trigger section, we make sure that the barrel of the gun is facing away from us. We know where we're aiming. We know what the market's focus is. We've got ourselves together. We've taken off the blindfold. We know why we're hitting the target. We're not throwing arrows all over the place. We're being very concentrated. We know what we're doing and we have the knowledge to actually bypass a lot of these risks. There's another incredibly important thing with the real wealth section, understanding you actually look at the red through an opportunity lens. You don't look at it through any form of stress. A big question people always have is when do I buy? When do I sell? The answer to that question is you buy and sell when you have the knowledge. For example, the trigger section of the masterclass is all about making sure that you pick a couple of really good opportunities from the timing section, that you patiently apply the 10-5-10 rule, that you make volatility your best friend, rule 130, and you make sure that you don't pick up a gun that's going to shoot you. You just make sure that you know what you're doing. And you can see the trigger section is quite large. It goes through all sorts of different trading methodologies and different pieces of insight that you really need to know if you want to be profitable. And it also has a living masterclass section where future episodes are added. I've left the link in the description for the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. It is a premium Rolls Royce level masterclass on crypto technical analysis, CTA, using the CTKS method, a method of technical analysis invented specifically for crypto that accounts for the exponential implosions and explosions in price and updates normal stock market and Forex technical analysis. If you'd like to go across to the testimonial section, you'll see there's an area that I or a video where I explain why I created the masterclass. Also, you can see feedback and testimonials from people who have gone through the masterclass. You can just read those at your leisure, but they will give you a really good understanding of what to expect from the masterclass. And the thing to understand as well, the masterclass takes effort. It's not something that will simply land in your lap. You have to apply yourself, but crypto technical analysis will be one of the highest paid professions in the world. And it's really good to know that it's actually a profession and something that will be with you for your entire life. Please do not pay full price for this. Just contact an ambassador through www.cryptotechnicalanalysis.org. The CTKS ambassadors have the highest honor in crypto technical analysis, and they have shown their dedication and commitment to crypto technical analysis in all its facets, especially the real wealth aspects of integrity, decency, and kindness. You can find those ambassadors here and you can reach out to them and directly message them. I've made sure I've connected their Twitter profiles to this particular page. And you can find this in the link of the description of this video. And they will give you 80% off and three years access. Let's have a quick look at the community favorites. Looking at VRA, VRA is over resistance and it's getting magnetized to this level of support currently. 
Let's have a look at ICON. ICON is over resistance as well. The next target is 947. The target above that is 1063. Support below at 752. Sushi. Support below at 4421. Resistance above at 5521. IOTA has been doing really well. It's come up from 70 cents to above a dollar. Well done, IOTA. It's going into resistance now between 10505 and 11164. We may get a slight pushback on price because we know how resistance levels work. Loopring. Loopring is currently at support at 10646. It has just a slightly lower support level at 10183 and it's under resistance. The next target is 1. 48.56. IOTEX has been doing really, really well. It's taken off. And this is what cryptos do. Cryptos have exponential price action going down and going up. And this is the thing that catches a lot of people off guard. People expect the crypto market to be like the stock market, small incremental gains. That's why it's really interesting to see from a crypto perspective, the reactions of people in the stock market. Crypto can go down 50% and we say, yeah, that's natural price volatility. That is what crypto does. But when people see a 5% reduction in the stock market, it's as though all hell has broken loose. That's just not even a daily basis in crypto. Please be aware of that incredible, explosive and implosive exponential price action. The Crypto Trading KS Masterclass prepares you for this kind of price action and you'll have the tools to understand how it's actually impacting in the market and where to buy and where to sell. Let's have a look at Crypto.com. Crypto.com has been doing really well. It got above this resistance, found a level of support and has overcome a next resistance level. Gala's also doing well. It's had this exponential price action come down and going up again. Gala is doing really well. I think all of the gaming and particular cryptos related to that sector are going to do well. I'd just like to reach out and say thank you to all the very kind and generous community members who've bought me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com slash crypto trading KS. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you very much to L Edwards. Thank you, Ken. Please keep showing some live trades in the masterclass. They're really helpful to practice the skills. Very, very welcome, my friend, and definitely I'll keep those coming. Everything in the crypto space is incredibly practical. And thank you, Brendan. Caffeine is like gasoline, a small token of my gratitude for all that you do for our awesome community. Thanks, Brendan. You're awesome, too. Thank you also, Rudy, for your very, very kind comment here. I'd love to share this with the community because it has some absolute pearls of wisdom in it. Hi, Ken. It's a really big relief to see trades pop around these times now, but I already before I had a revelation that released a big amount of crypto stress for me. I took your analogy from crypto trading being a profession to heart and even more your rule about you need to have patience. Then I looked at my normal professional personal life where I would never check my emails every free minute to see if some project continues in the right direction. But with crypto, I did that crazy checking trading for you on the phone every time, day and night. So now I just think of trading and crypto price action as real life projects. Brilliant, Rudy. Absolutely brilliant. That need their time and some silent trust that people are working on them without me micromanaging them and without me checking for their progress all the time. And I start to feel almost completely relaxed about the crypto market and my pending trades. That is utterly brilliant. And Rudy, you sound like a project manager. What Rudy says is incredibly, incredibly perceptive and insightful. Literally, cryptos are projects. They're different projects that do different things in Web 3.0 and just letting them do their thing 
is really, really clever. <laughs> Rudy goes on, what I still find weird is that crypto trading profits are not related to adding any value anywhere. It's just about making better decisions on price than somebody else. This is a bit of a frustrating aspect of the whole thing. So I tell myself that I'm adding liquidity to the market. And if I manage to make some profits, then that's price. The market pays for that. Rudy, what you may also like to think about is that actually what we do inside our community is really, really different from what other communities do. We have so many rules that are shared inside the masterclass and also on the community channel. And we're all about just playing the game by the rules. What happens is that when people don't play by the rules, they don't actually profit. Or if they are lucky enough to profit, it is actually probably luck, not skill. And luck is never rewarded for long. So you could just look at it as though you're applying your skill as a professional and professionals do get rewarded. And thank you to Raptors L. A few more gems from rules 470 to 472. Knowledge is needed to get into zones three and four. Once you have the knowledge, you can offset the losses. However, we can never eliminate losses because losses are the fee for participating in the market. This is a really important thing. Only scammers actually are out there saying that you will never make a loss. That is not true. That is fantasy. We will always make losses. And that's not the point. You just be generous and you say, I paid for my education. That's how you look at it. Okay, what else is here? However, you can understand the losses and minimize the losses. The lack of knowledge unknowingly traps people at lower levels. There's a very big difference between riches and wealth. Riches will come and go, but wealth is something that you can grow intergenerationally. So beautiful, Raptors L. Fantastic. Back to the masterclass. Go slow to go fast. You got it, my friend. That is what it's all about. And thank you, Kirk and Ricardo. Thank you very much. And Martin, thank you, my friend. That's very generous of you. And Signs of. Signs of says you could easily have a paid newsletter with the, all the information provided. Oh, you provide, for example, episode 424 and 426. You are incredibly generous with your time and are providing invaluable information with not only your YouTube videos, but your prodigious level of detail in the masterclass. Thank you, my friend. That's really, really nice. And one thing that you might like to keep in mind too, every month I put out a new post in buymeacoffee.com slash crypto trading ks in february 2022 i put out a guaranteed way to lose money in crypto this is just for the people who have very generously reached out and bought me a coffee in previous months i put out six other videos rule 829 dedication is critical to your success rule 305 assess volume integrity rule 420 the ess method Rule 40, be, ask, and create the best. Rule 402, real wealth or negative wealth is always growing. And rule 18, patiently apply the 10-5-10 rule. I do this as my way of saying thank you for your kind generosity. You reached out and bought me a coffee. That's really lovely. And this is what I do every month for you. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video if you think it will help others. Thank you very much to our moderators and ambassadors for keeping our community safe as well as helping. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the link to the masterclass also my Twitter profile where you can reach out anytime and contact me. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.